Hey guys, Nuno from NunoSolutions.com, bringing you a brand new video teaching you guys how to become a computer programmer. Procrastinated quite a while on when to make this video and finally had the time during this holiday break. So uh, first things first, who am I? I, Nuno Pereira, I've been programming for approximately 28 plus years, give or take. I really started programming at 12 years old and been about professionally programming about 19 years. Built up hundreds and hundreds of apps. I mean, it's app services, mobile apps, it's, you name it, I've, I've done it. So first things first, if you want to become a software developer, programmer, coder, software engineer, architect, whatever you want to, you want to become a programmer, first thing you need the right tools on your machine. So you're going to want to install Visual Studio 2022. To do that, you're just going to open up your browser and just, just Google it. Type in Visual Studio Download in Google. And then you're going to want to download Visual Studio Community Edition. So make sure you pick this one here. Um, right now, the current version is 2022. You click Download Visual Studio, it'll download it and install it. And then you're, you're set to go. I already have it installed, I have it open already. So we'll start that once we start coding. Let's go back to the screen. Next step is install SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS, for short. In this step, we're gonna install SQL Server Express and SQL Server Management Studio. SQL Server Express is the database engine where we're gonna actually connect to using SQL Server Management Studio to create a database and the tables that we're gonna to need to store the data for the app. So to do that, open up Chrome and just type in SQL Server Express Download and then click Download Microsoft SQL Server and then hit down this download button. That's gonna download the installer and when you click on that, it will open up the, this installer window. I'm gonna hit custom here, and I'm just gonna pick, I want this to be on my D drive. And I just hit install. That's, that's actually gonna download the actual installer. This is like a downloader, really. So at this point, the SQL installation has uh, opened up. We're gonna hit uh, new SQL Server standalone installation at the top here. Click next. You could do skip scan and click next. This is going to download whatever support files it needs to continue the installation. That You can't skip that. Don't worry about the Windows Fire installation um, uh, warning here. Just click next. So you're, you're not going to see the screen, so I'm just going to skip the screen. I, this is appearing because I already have it installed. The screen you should get is this screen here where you can pick the options that you want to install. By default, it's going to look like this. When, if, when, if you don't have anything installed, these are the options that are going to be clicked for you. You're going to want to uncheck all of these, but you're going to need the database engine services to be checked, this one here. If you don't check that, then SQL Express doesn't install. Then at the bottom, there's a few client tools. You can install these if you want. I think you need these two, the client tools and backwards compatibility. You don't need these last three. You, although these SDKs, I don't think you should install. I, I don't install it because I always Google everything. And then once you, you set that up, hit next. Obviously, if I, don't, I can't do it. And the next screen, it should ask you, I believe it's for what kind of authentication you want to use for your database. Just leave Windows authentication. It automatically adds your Windows account to the SQL Server Express instance and makes you an administrator so you don't have to worry. So just click next and keep everything as default. That's all you need to follow this tutorial. And then once that's done, that means you got SQL Express installed. Now you need to install SQL Server Manager Studio. So in, we're going to go back to this uh, installation wizard here and you're going to click install SQL Server Management Tools. That's going to open up a web browser and then in this download SSMS section here you're going to click download. Click on that it's going to download the SQL Server Management Studio installation and literally you run the installer and just accept all defaults. That's all you need to do for this demo, okay? I'm going to cancel this because I already have it installed. And, uh, and then once that's done, you go to your start menu. You're going to see in your recent apps, you're going to see the SQL Management Studio listed there. You're going to want to open up SQL Management Studio. I already have it pinned over here, so I'm just going to open it right from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect to SQL Server Express to make sure we can actually connect. So what you want to do is make sure your authentication type is Windows Authentication, which I believe is the default. And then here in the server name, you're going to do a, a period slash backward slash and then SQL Express. 
And once you type that in, you're going to hit connect. And you sh in the object explorer on the left, you should see that you're able to connect to your server that's running on your computer. Expand databases. You should have nothing. I already have a database here, but this, this is all that you're going to have. And then in a future video, I'll show you how to actually create a database and the tables.